Hey guys, welcome to the Trebanking component of C-Store Pro. So in this training video, we're actually going to talk about all the banking related tasks that need to be done to get the proper P&Ls and net worth report in C-Store Pro. So by now, you should have actually already started entering in your day reports, your grocery management, purchasing, your gas management, uh, payments, your lottery management and settlements, and all of your other components that you also have in your store. So one thing that's missing so far is obviously entering in expenses that are happening directly in your bank. If you're happening at the store level by cash, then obviously your employees are entering them at the day report level. But when you have expenses that are hitting your bank account directly, whether it be via check or via ACH, you want to be able to enter them into the system. So to do that, what you can do is click on this banking tab right here where it says enter bank entries and you can say I want to enter an expense by check. When you do this, you can simply just select which date, the amount, which bank account, by check if it's a check number, what the check number is, and if it's by ACH, select the ACH option, and then which category it's going into. And if you don't see the category on the list, you can always create a new one, but we have most of the common categories already in the system. And then you can specify who the payee is and any memo associated with that expense. So that's basically an expense coming out of your bank account. You may also have additional uh, income sources that are coming into your bank account. Uh, so if that's the case, you can always go to other entries and click on income. If you're doing a profit withdrawal, you can do it right through here. Uh, general accounts, these are like your local accounts that are either paying in or paying out. So you can click on general accounts and you can do either a pay in or pay out right through here, right? And who's paying that in? Um, you also have you know other reports that everything like that that basically comes in here so as long as you're entering in all of your expenses into C Store Pro and all of your incomes and profit withdrawals and general account payments into C Store Pro you can now basically start doing all of your bank reconciliations through C Store Pro so let's let's try one right quick right so if I go into here banking and I say I want to reconcile my bank entries based on all the entries that have been happening in my system uh, from the day report level to everything, these are all the different entries that I have still pending, outstanding. This is my current bank balance. So what I can do is I can just enter in what my actual bank balance is. Click on these to reconcile them. And now if I don't see an entry in the system that I know my manager has made, for example, Lottery Lotto EFT, I can always click on this plus icon over here and select my Lottery Lotto and basically do that entry. Or in fact, if a gas payment was missed by my manager at the store level, I can click on gas payment select which date and go ahead and enter it right through the system and it will show up on your reconciliation log. All you have to do here now is simply click on you know reconciling it and if your ending balance is different when you click on reconcile you have the option to put the adjust difference in an adjustment category or an expense so if you don't see an adjustment category here for your expenses you can just add one in that's basically called adjustment. Once you've done that piece of it you basically can now look at all your past reconciliation logs and outstanding logs. So I can come in here and I can look at, let's say, for example, my operating account. I want to look at all my reconciled entries for this time. And it'll basically give me my running balance, right? Uh, what the differences are, what my opening was all the way down to what my closing is for this time frame and which components I'm basically getting credited for. Um, you can also go into other reports like for example you can click on print checks if you want to print some checks that you basically made entries to whether it's expenses or purchases you can click on print checks and you can actually print the checks right from here uh, you can go into reports and you can get all sorts of reports now uh, you have your checkbook statement bank statement outstanding items report so let's say for example I want to run all my outstanding item report for this month here are my outstanding item reports if I want to run my bank statement Here's my bank statement um, and it kind of follows the same you know, way as what your actual bank statement is and here's my checkbook statement. So traditionally what happens is people usually ask what's the difference between the bank statement and the checkbook statement. Well the simple answer to that is the bank statement is basically what's cleared your bank account. Uh, so everything that's cleared your bank account it only tells you that. Your checkbook statement is basically based on all the entries that are still outstanding in your system, what your actual uh, balance sheet is for your report, right? So if I go in here, my actual balance sheet is actually $9,300. Uh, but when I look at my bank statement, it's only showing 
$4,483, which means that I basically have about $4,500 or so still pending on coming into my system according to the entries that I did in my store. You can go into banking dashboard and obviously get the same information, what your reconciled bank balance is, what your unreconciled is, what your total bank balance is, and what your available funds are. Um, you can also go into bank accounts and this is where you can actually set up your bank accounts, right? You can enter in the bank routing number, account number. You can do a signature line over here if you wanted to, um, you know, so that you can actually utilize this to print checks and all that stuff. So that's pretty much the gist of the banking component side of it. Uh, I know I kind of went through that real quickly, but it's actually relatively simple once you get the hang of it. If you want to set up your initial bank account, uh, you know, initial bank balance, all you do is just come into here, reconcile log, um, you know, clear out all the pending logs over here and then enter in your, you know, your actual balance as of that day and reconcile and just put the whatever the difference is into an adjustment category section of C-Store Pro. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, hope this was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact C-Store Pro at 281-265-2299. Again, that's 281-265-2299. Uh, look forward to you guys watching the next video.